Hi guys, this is an uh, uh, answer to a dilemma that I posted on my uh, newsletter last uh, Sunday. And uh, I would like to show you how I did something. It's really pretty simple. We were faced with this uh, shot, and I wanted to make it a nice shot. Now, the previous, uh, uh, the, they were fine with this natural light. Well, natural as far as fluorescent. They were fine with this, but I, I knew I needed to get some more sparkle and pizzazz along these these railings here, these uh, cabinets, because they just didn't look very good. Uh, some of the folks who wrote in and said, well, I put a, a, a flash over camera. Well, this is 25 feet long here from where I am to there. So a flash on camera would have lit this up beautifully and not even reached that wall back there because the inverse square law is going to, this light's going to be falling off so rapidly before I get back there. These shelves go right up to that wall, so there's nowhere to hide a light back there. Okay, plus these things up, this is a little dead in here. I'd like to get some more sparkle coming back on these things to really make it look good. So, uh, I, I, I spent a few minutes in here thinking, oh my gosh, I'll have to, I mean, how am I going to, you know, maybe get up here and put some lights in here, but that's just going to make, <coughs> excuse me, just going to make a tiny pool of light above uh, whatever cabinet I put it in. I can't spread it across the ceiling. Uh, we do have the fluorescent fixtures and we wanted to maintain them as a light source. We didn't want to light this where we didn't have the fluorescence. We had to have them in the shot because that's what the trailer looks like. Okay, so um, I came up with uh, my little solution, uh, which was uh, the closest one was uh, 4x5 Dan. The closest one to, to figuring out was 4x5 Dan. Uh, he was absolutely so close. We're going to go ahead and give him the book. Um, that was the prize for guessing how I did it or working it out. Uh, but many of you had lights coming from the front. And guys, we can't put lights from the front. We've already got all this natural light coming from the windows and the door behind me up front. Adding a strobe here is not going to do anything. It's also not going to reach that door. I'm shooting at, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. I can find out here real quick. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, whatever I'm shooting at, uh, that aperture isn't going to reach back the, back there. Uh, the power of the strobe with that aperture is not going to reach it back there. It's just not. So um, no lights from the front. I'm using natural light up front. So this is how I did it. Um, I positioned Charles on this side holding a speed light up to light up this particular area so it's not so dull. And I put a speed light on the shelf back there. Now this is giving me a nice little highlight along these uh, shelves and some sparkle in there that looks pretty good. I then put the uh, speed light on the other side uh, and lit it on this side. So this is giving me some sparkle down this shelf. Okay, so I'm going to drag this picture out here, right there, and go back to this picture. I'm going to grip my move tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to drag this over to that side and let go of it. And there we have the, the two lights are hidden. Both sides uh, look pretty good. I do have to do some work still back here because they don't line up. All right. Looks like a little bit of movement, even though I was on a tripod. So tick one, tick two, tick three, bada boom. They're right there. Let's go back and look at the shot. That looks pretty good. It's still kind of dull in here. We're going to do some more work with this as we get it uh, put together. But I do have to make sure that door is looking good. Okay, going to have to do a little bit of cloning here. I'm going to take this layer and go ahead and flatten it on there. Grab my clone tool. And I'm going to use uh, clone normal at about 35. All right. There we go. Grab a little bit of that. Come in here. It's going to get rid of that line here. Tap it down a little bit smaller. We're not going to go through all the stuff I did on this because it's extensive, guys. It's really extensive what I did to the final image. But you can certainly see uh, that's starting to look pretty good, huh? 
a little bit of issues up here, right there. And right there. And of course, we've got to get rid of that line there. And right there. Bada boom. Oh, that's terrible. What did I do? What did I do? There we go. I moved my clone stamp. Okay, so let's bring this down here. Right on that edge there. And it's fixed. All right. Anyway, um, on the uh, the final shot, it's all fixed up, uh, and you can see. Okay, so we've got this now. We've got to kind of do some some work in here. I want to lighten this area up here, so I'm going to grab my uh, my tool here, the uh, little one that I use to outline things. All right, and I'm going to shift, hold the shift key down. So I'm going to add a second one on this side. And the reason I'm doing is I want them both to be even. So I don't want to do one after the other. I'm going to do them both at the same time. Down here. All right. I'm going to select a, a modify uh, the, the uh, feather oh, to two or three pixels. Let's say three pixels. Okay. Control J. They're now on a new level, so I'm going to go to my image, adjustments, levels, and I'm going to drag these guys, make them a little bit brighter. Up there we go. Not bad. Looks a little bit more homey in there, doesn't it? All right. Commit that. Thank you. Say OK. Uh, now I got those two little areas in the back, so I'm going to have to grab them. I'm working so you can see me here, guys. This is not the final image. The final image uh, took me about an hour and a half to do. Ended up being very nice. Uh, if the client will uh, let me show it to you, I will. Select, modify, feather. Thank you very much. Control J. Moved them to a new layer so I can apply my adjustments levels on them and I can take them up as well. Opening up that ceiling much, much better. Much better. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now my floor doesn't look all that good, so I've got to grab my floor now. I'm going to grab the floor right here. It's going to come down. Cut around it. And I'm just kind of painstaking in here. When I did this uh, for the main image for my client, I actually used the um, pen tool. So I go right around this and grab this image. So, but uh, that, uh, that doesn't make for good theater. <laughs> Trust me, it uh, it's not fun to watch. Just kind of like you want to scream your bloody guts out. Okay, Control J, up. We're gonna go back to the layer adjustment the levels. Bring that floor up just a little bit. That looks much better, much better, much better. A little contrast in there. Uh, and say okay so this is looking pretty good now this is a little bit bright over here that's okay they're cropping this in right here but I did want to get you know I wanted to back up enough so that they could get everything they wanted in the shot so um, we've got our preliminary here now we got some yellow going on up in here and I would like to uh, get into here and draw it right down here right there and over and select 
back to modify, back to feather, okay, got to move it to a new layer now, control J, it's on its own layer, so I can go to image, adjustment, um, color balance, and I'm going to take some of that yellow out of there, sorry, kind of flatten it up just a little bit. That might be a little too much, but that's the nice thing about having it on a layer is that we can go to the opacity. We can drop it back just a little touch of yellow. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go back to that door and do the same thing on the door. Up there. Putting the door out back there it was a lot of fun, trust me. A lot of fun. All right, so, oh, kind of missed it. All right, anyway, Control J, up to a new layer. I didn't feather it, that's okay, because all I'm going to go into to do here is image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and desaturate that guy just a little bit. Take the saturation off that door, just to drag it down. There we go. All right, so the trailer's looking much more appealing uh, to my eye. Uh, got to darken this over here just a little bit, so I'm going to grab back on the truck here. I'm going to grab this right here. You know, right up here. You know, working for a, a client like this, a great client, great people to work for, no matter what we asked uh, of them, they were really willing and able to do it uh, sure makes your your job easier you know it does and there we go select modify feather control J control J up and then I'm going to use my image adjustment levels and I'm just going to darken it a little bit just take it down just a little bit A little bit more natural feel to it. That kind of looks like what the truck looked like when I got there. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to this very top layer. I'm going to go Control, Alt, Shift, E. And now I have a new layer at the top that's all of these layers put together. So if I can turn all these off, then it makes no difference, okay? Because this is a combined things. So I'm going to add some light to this so I can get this looking the way I really want it to look. New layer. Overlay. Uh, black and white. I'm going to call this bright. Overlay. Uh, grab my white brush here. Brush tool. Opacity of 10%. And I've got a soft brush, okay. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna lighten this this these panels up right here. Just like that. Just like that right there. We get a little bit of lightness in those panels, makes it feel open and airy, uh, and a, a, a nicer place to to, to be. Uh, so what I'm going to do also is I'm going to lighten this floor coming forward just to give it a just a bit of dimension to it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let me um, hit this uh, ceiling right here in the middle. Just a, little, a couple taps right here. And I'm going to give it a little bit of feeling that the lights are on. Let the lights spread out a little bit. See what I'm doing here? Just letting the lights spread out. You can hear the mouse click. I'm just spreading the lights out. I have a feeling that the lights are on. And of course the lights are on. But now it looks a little bit more like the lights are on. So there we go. Uh, simple shot. Really, really uh, a, a mind-numbing shot when I first looked at it. I thought, oh, how in the world am I going to do that? Um, but we did it.
you know we did it in uh, in record time too record time got it really looking uh, the way they wanted it to in the amount of time that we had to do it uh, which wasn't very long at all so we just had to get in there I'm just playing with the shadings here a little bit had to get in there get it shot um, so we could move on to the next shot so simple thing for lights but done on two different panels so sometimes you think a little bit outside the box and you'll find uh, some solutions I'm gonna pop these hammers up a little bit here there we go And these wrenches right here on this side. All right, so final crop of the image will be something along the lines of And we've got our interior truck shot. So uh, that's how I did it. So thanks everybody for uh, you know being on the newsletter and uh, if you're not on the newsletter, well, we're going to call it something different next week, but if you're not on the thing formerly known as newsletter, um, you might be missing out on some good stuff. Most of what I post on the newsletter is not from the blog. It's kind of original, um, and we do a lot of uh, different things there. So anyway, if you're on the newsletter, there you go. If you're not, there you go anyway. Have a great day.